much does it hurt a guy when you want to see a guy like Adrian Rizdikas and then he gets hurt? Does it hurt him? No, not at all. I mean, this is as minor as can be and fortunate for him. It happened at the end of the workout. I think he's going to be ready to go. I don't know whenever his next workout is tomorrow, the day after. I don't No, no change to anything. What, what do you see in his game? Uh, like? He's just the winner, man. He, he's extremely aggressive. Um, he fits into modern basketball with his position and his skill set. He can stretch the floor. He can get to the basket. He's extremely tough and will play defense. Um, yeah, you, you're just kind of drawn to his aggressiveness, I think, first and foremost. Is, is it tougher to evaluate guys that are in that team? Or is it modern NBA kind of doesn't matter? I think the latter, yeah. Just, everybody's switching, everybody's, you know, you kind of look for that skill redundancy that you can play anywhere. Um, is, is, you know, I mean, that's just the player that, that everybody wants at this point. You guys that can defend multiple positions, can play multiple positions, and to do it, you need, yeah, you kind of need to blur those lines, I guess. Well, that's, that's a different question. Uh, yeah, they have to be able to defend both, really. What did you like about Jalen? I mean, you guys want to bring in this forward? Jalen can score the basketball. Um, he can you know, both, both on the ball as a kind of shot getter and, and attacker, but also you can slide him off the ball and he can run off the screens and shoot off movement. Um, there's a lot of skill in that. And then I think he showed a lot of this year, his ability to make plays for teammates as well. So he's kind of evolving his game in, in, into a more well-rounded player. How tough is it to evaluate him coming from the zone? It's hard. Um, it's hard. We've done our best to kind of try to isolate, you know, plays or instances that are contextually out of the zone you know at some point he's going to have to guard somebody on the perimeter and there's moments of him doing that um, but but it's it definitely makes the projection a little bit more complicated when you're judging someone like Iggy and Jeremiah Martin they've, had a, they've both had double figure workouts already do you taste that yeah in yeah you have to I mean it's just a long two months for these guys um, but credit to both of them I mean they they went hard. They're going to know in both of them, they're going to continue going hard. Um, you know, they're at the, the last stretch of this, fortunately enough for them. And then at the, you know, next Thursday, hopefully it works out for them. What did you see in Jeremiah? He's an experienced guy. He's played a little off the ball more yeah. this year too as well. I, I think similar to Iggy, you just like his approach to the game. He, he plays on both ends. He's really active. And then offensively, he, he can just get to the rim. Um, he can get in the paint and make plays for teammates. Um, he, you, you, like, you don't know exactly where to put him, um, but his versatility is attractive, I think. He, he came on strong. He had that great February where he averaged over 30. When you guys evaluate players, does that, do you look at that as a player getting stronger as the season going on? Um, definitely. You try to you know, identify the reasons for for solid play at any given points of the season or, or like struggles but holistically you kind of you know you got to add it all up and see where it goes for him he's had he's just had a successful career you know as it nets out Thanks, awesome thank you guys